Have you ever saw one of these scooters and thought to yourself, damn, I would look so stupid on one of these things? What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alter Realm, here, back at you with another sick and lit editiones of Alter Realm. And today, I had the great experience of being able to use a Lime scooter. Now, before you all get your panties in a bunch, this is not going to be some tech review of the fiber optic solar core panel within the product. This is just going to be a basic product and app review of the Lime scooter. So just as I did, you would want to go to your Apple and or iTunes store, find Lime, you'll see the Lime scooter. I'm not too for sure if this is for Android, but this definitely is for iOS users. Once you get into the program, you will see the table of content. You'll have your wallet, you'll have your ride history, parked or not, juice and earn and your settings and these are just some things that you can go to in your own spare time to add money to your wallet here you can add five ten or twenty dollars i'm not going to add anything right now i've already added and done my trip here we can go to our ride history tab here we can see all the miles accumulated the distance how much it cost how long it took where we actually went gps located all of that great stuff Really quickly right here we have parked or not and this is just a game I'm thinking that you play to help out other riders and eh, not too for sure about that. Also have juice and earn. This is a small incentive as to where you can work for Lime and become a juicer. A juicer is a person who pretty much goes around to pick up the scooters and charge them overnight. Here we just have our simple settings tab with your name, your email address and phone number. And bitch, it's time to ride, honey. If you don't need anything from the helps tab, then it's time to ride. Once you've entered the necessary information, Lime will send you a confirmation email. This is just an email confirming your email address, linking it to a phone number in which they will send you a confirmation text. All the preliminaries are taken care of. All the internal paperwork is done. And now, like I said, it is time to ride. So as you can see on your GPS locator here, I am the blue dot. And where you see all these little lime dots where they have these scooters and little batteries. So it tells you how far you are away from a lime scooter uh, distance walked. Like this one here, it said 12 minutes. So it'll give me an actual route to how to get to the actual scooter that I want to pick up and it will tell me how charged the scooter is. It'll actually let you ring the scooter bell if you're in proximity to the scooter. You can ring the bell. Uh, you can also do report missing. Uh, that's if anything is wrong with the scooter and or if it's saying the scooter's not there and the scooter actually physically is there. And just around this area, it will calculate for you how long of a walk you'll have till you actually reach a scooter. And right here it says 38 minutes, bitch. I can just not walk in 38 minutes to get to no scooter. <laughs> I would try to find one very, very close to where you are. So I picked out my scooter while having my fingers crossed and praying to God that no one got it before me. I was able to find a scooter that was in close enough proximity to where I was. And this is where you would like to hit the scan to ride button. Having the scan to ride button, you'll see the QR code prompt appear on your cell phone. This is just a code that you'll scan via your cell phone that is located on the handlebar of the scooter and kaboom yam once everything is taken care of here is the lime scooter everybody i must say this is pretty sweet bitch our guy decked out in lime green black and white here on the side you have the brake panel on your left hand side here in the middle you have a mileage per hour yes this thing tells you how fast you're going and under that a small battery gauge to let you know how much juice is left inside of the line on the right hand side here we have the acceleration prompting you to push press and go here in the middle are a few graphics as to where you can actually download the app from this app is available at an apple store and google play just a few rules when it comes to using the lime a scooter park the scooter properly along the curbside do not ride the scooter on the sidewalk and or block traffic please be 18 years or older and ride with a helmet 
at the very bottom here we have information on where to contact these guys for support via email and or a call slash text more barcodes and scan codes here yes you have your foot panel this baby is a dollar to start 15 cents a minute and for the girls who think they're going to try to steal this device guess again bitch this baby is gps tracked and you could bet your bottom dollar your ass would be under the jail for trying to tamper and or steal one of these bad boys Lastly, we have our charge box and our little sound box. I know once you start this thing up, it does chime, so I'm not too for sure. You have to ask the tech gods, I, forgive me. So I was in a situation where I had to go and retrieve my work van from the Ford dealership. And the location of the dealership wasn't all that far away, but if I were to take a lift, it would have almost been 15 fucking dollars. I did not want to pay that, nor was I going to walk because it was too hot, and so I opted to try the Lime scooter. And honestly, it worked out. This was a solo ride. I didn't have to take anyone with me. I did not have to take anything to the dealership in size. It came out to be a lot more cheaper for me as this only cost cost me $6.55. The distance traveled was seven miles and it took me around about 37 minutes to get there. And actually in a vehicle, it would have taken me about 14 minutes to get there depending on traffic. Mind you, I didn't have to wait at any stop signs. I didn't have to wait at any stop lights. And where I am, the traffic is always congested, okay? There's always something going on. So for me, $6 to stay constantly moving and not to be stuck in traffic was a steal. So you guys, finally getting to where I had to go, making it to the Ford dealership, as you can see notated in the top right hand corner by that blue dot. I started in the downtown Charlottesville UVA area and went all the way up 29. So as you're ending your ride, you can see you have to validate your proper parking. This is where the Lime Squad will ask you to take a picture of where you're gonna be parking your Lime scooter so that they'll know where it's located and so they know that you're not leaving it in traffic laying it down in the middle of the road laying it down in the middle of a highway and to cover your tracks as to where you left the scooter being as though you are the last one to use it so once you find a safe secure and clear parking spot you can park your lime on side of the curb take your picture and then they will ask you how did you enjoy your ride I'm just going to leave a quick comment and a quick rating because I actually did enjoy this product this scooter is the bomb to me I kind of want to invest in getting a personal one for myself. This was an awesome experience. So yes, you guys, five stars. I got guy. So all in all, you guys, once you're ending your trip here, they will show you your receipt again. And as you can see, I spent a total of $6.55. Like I said, I thought this was a steal. They have a prompt here where you can share this on your social media platforms. And as long as you stay within the green perimeter here, within the green boundaries here, you can ride your Lime scooter, I guess, all day or at your own expense. Obviously, the makers of Lime are definitely put into consideration of having their scooters be in the area of busy downtown sectors and busy college campuses because these things really do come in handy and I can see how they would come in handy for a student that is behind for a class and or somebody that's trying to get to work and or just being on a casual ride around town. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been another sick and late edition of Alter Realm. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely leave this video a like and don't forget to hit that bell iconic the bell icon is going to notify you on when I upload more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, peace.